Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Colin and I'm an English teacher in Tokyo. This is another shadowing practice video to help you speak more smoothly. To do this, we're going to focus on four aspects of speech. Sentence stress, where we pick out the most important words in a sentence. Word stress, which is important in pronouncing words correctly. Connecting sounds, which is when two words blend together. And also disappearing sounds, which is when sounds disappear. So the plan for this practice is as follows. We will first preview some tricky vocabulary. You will then read the text by yourself. You will then listen to me read the text. I will then analyze the text. You will listen again to me reading the text. And then lastly, you will read the text by yourself using everything that we've learned. So please make sure that you complete each part of the practice so that you can start speaking more smoothly and more confidently. If you find these videos helpful, make sure to subscribe for more. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with a friend. It really helps the channel to grow. Okay, let's get into today's topic. Okay, so today's topic is mince pies. Uh, this is something that all British people look forward to very much every Christmas. Um, and I'm pleased to share this information with you. Uh, let's take a look at some vocabulary to get started. The first word we have here is pastry. Pastry. This is a noun. So sweet baked goods. Um, pastry, sometimes we use it when we talk about savoury foods as well. Um, but generally a pastry would be a sweet baked good. She bought a variety of pastries from the bakery. Next we have mincemeat. Mincemeat. Uh, this is a noun and it is a mixture of chopped dried fruits, nuts and spices. Okay. You will notice that there is no meat in mincemeat. The mincemeat for the pie contained raisins and cinnamon. Next, dusting. Um, dusting, this is the noun. So the verb would be to dust, um, but dusting is a noun. A small amount of a powdery substance on top of something. So for example, a dusting of snow covered the trees in the morning. Next, we have icing sugar. This is a noun. Very fine powdered sugar often used in baking. The donuts were covered in a generous layer of icing sugar, making them extra delicious. Okay, um, so this is what we're looking at today. Mince pies. This is an example of mince pies. They come in some different designs. These ones have stars on top, but this is what we are talking about today. So first of all, I want you to pause the video and read out loud and make yourself familiar with today's text. Okay, I hope that went well. Now I want you to listen to me read out loud. Mince pies. Mince pies are a special holiday treat. These small, sweet pastries are filled with a mixture called mincemeat, consisting of dried fruits and spices. Families often gather to bake mince pies, and it's common to serve them warm with a dusting of icing sugar. You can also buy mince pies at your local bakery or supermarket. Okay, so let's take a look at this text. We're going to start with the sentence stress, the important words in the sentence. Mince pies are a special holiday treat. These small, sweet pastries are filled with a mixture called mincemeat, consisting of dried fruits and spices. Families often gather to bake mince pies, and it's common to serve them warm with a dusting of icing sugar. You can also buy mince pies at your local bakery or supermarket. Okay, 
Now let's take a look at some word stress. I'm going to pick out some words that might be tricky and highlight where the stress should be. Mince pies are a special holiday treat. These small sweet pastries, pastries, no, so just remember this is an A sound, pastries, are filled with a mixture called mincemeat. So mincemeat, but stress on the mince part. Consisting, consisting of dried fruits and spices, spices, spy, I, spices. Families often gather to bake mince pies and it's common to serve them warm with a dusting of icing sugar. So SH, sugar. You can also buy mince pies at your local bakery or supermarket. Okay, let's take a look at some connecting sounds. We'll mark these in red. Mince pies are, mince pies are, are a special holiday treat. These small sweet pastries are, pastries are, filled with a, with a, I think that links together quite well, with a, with a mixture called mincemeat consisting of, consisting of dried fruits and spices. Families often, families, families often, or often, gather to bake mince pies and, and it's, and it's, and it's, okay. Come back to that later. And it's common to serve them warm with a, with a, Dusting of, dusting of, vicing sugar, of vicing sugar. This is like a V sound, dusting of, dusting of vicing sugar. You can also, you can also buy mince pies at your local bakery or, bakery or, okay, linking to the next sentence, bakery or supermarket. Now, Let's take a look at some disappearing sounds. Um, I think there's a few in here. Mince pies are a special holiday treat. These small, now, these small, let's take a look at this. These small, these small, we've got two S sounds, these small. So these small, the, if you imagine it's T-H-E-E, -E, okay, this is sort of the sound we're, working with these small sweet pastries, sweet pastries. So you could say sweet pastries or sweet pastries, sweet pastries. The T could go there, um, sweet pastries. If I'm speaking quickly, I probably say sweet pastries rather than sweet pastries. Okay, um, are filled with a mixture called mincemeat consisting of dried fruits and spices and spices. We can lose the D, fruits and spices. Families often, so again, often, the T, we talked about this in the last video, the T in often can get dropped. Gather to becomes t, to bake, mince pies and it's, and it's, and it's, the D in and can get dropped. And it's common to serve them warm with a dusting of icing sugar. You can also buy mince pies at your local, at your local, now, at, at, at your local. So not at your local, but you can say at your local. Okay. All of these little sounds that you're dropping are going to enable you to speak a little bit more quickly, a little bit more smoothly. The last thing we're going to look at here is a little reminder about where to pause. So these are at commas and full stops. Mince pies are a special holiday treat. These small 
Sweet pastries are filled with a mixture called mincemeat, consisting of dried fruits and spices. Families often gather to bake mince pies, and it's common to serve them warm with a dusting of sugar. You can also buy mince pies at your local bakery or supermarket. One thing to pick out here is that the word mincemeat on the third line is in scare quotes. Okay, scare quotes. And we use this when the word we are using is not used in the normal way. So if you said the word mincemeat, you would expect there to be meat in it. Okay, minced meat. But mincemeat in this case doesn't contain any meat. So we use scare quotes to highlight that you need to pay attention. This is not normal minced meat. Okay, this mincemeat is just dried fruit and spices. Okay, so now what I want to do is read the text one more time. I want you to look carefully, follow the text as I read, and try to pick out all of these details. Mince pies. Mince pies are a special holiday treat. These small sweet pastries are filled with a mixture called mincemeat, consisting of dried fruits and spices. Families often gather to bake mince pies, and it's common to serve them warm with a dusting of icing sugar. You can also buy mince pies at your local bakery or supermarket. Okay, and now it is over to you. Pause the video, and I want you to read out loud, trying to use all of the things that we have learned today. Okay, well, I think that's it for today. Thank you very much for sticking with me to the end of the video. Remember to like and subscribe. Share this with a friend that really helps us to grow the channel, and I will see you in the next video.